Hello, my name is History West, and welcome back to Family Quest. Today we're doing some consolidation as we wait for the 1.16 Nether update. Getting a little bit ready, seeing what we need to do to be ready. Stick around. Okay, I am putting the finishing touches on the new annex to the storage system. And this will be a section in which uh, all the new nether items will be stored. So once I get that done, I'll have to put the items in these chests on either side, connect this hopper here from here it will go into here and I'll remove one two three and then there'll be a hopper coming out here that will connect to here so it's just like a little detour in our storage system here and I decided to go with a uh, another motif We've got tons of nether brick that uh, I've been putting into storage anyway because I'm emptying our last uh, warehouse. The end base storage system I'm, I'm removing and uh, so let's see if I've got any more end brick here or not end brick um, nether brick okay I don't but that's okay because I've got plenty in the system so let's see these things I want to toss into the sorter Only tossing the stuff that will sort. All right, we're just fairly slow going. I should do is I should toss everything up in here because uh, this actually goes faster than the ones below because this just drops right into the sorting system where the, the ones that I put in down here have to go in through a dropper elevator. It makes it a little bit slower. Oh yeah, let's get some more nether brick. Got plenty here. See, I've got uh, all this. So, I could not go any further than this because I would pop out into uh, into the hill. You see right here, that is outside the grass growing there. So this is as far this direction, at least at this level, that I can go. And I also can't go any further that way because this is, on the other side of this wall right here is our mine shaft. This is one of our pillars from the mine shaft. So that's okay because this will be great for all the new items added in the nether update and I'm going to expand the warehouse in the other direction over here maybe quite a lot in order to um, add all of the things that I found I would have maybe liked to see sorted that I didn't originally sort. Doing the sorting system on um, Wes's world 
which was a lot bigger than this one, I found that there are a lot of things that would be kind of nice to sort. And there's also the fact that I've got several items now that that are really uh, need more area. So there's, let's see, what, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight chests here, sweet berries, and still they fill up pretty quick. Same thing with carrots and potatoes. I've expanded them as well. back. It's a little difficult working with uh, auto mine in these types of situations because you don't want to uh, chop up too much of your stuff here. All right now what we're going to have over here is going to be a Uh, staging and work area, I guess, with some uh, workstations, so I don't have to run all the way back up stairs. Oops. And I need some more of those. I don't know if I'll cover this up. Oh, I should have done that row under there too. I'll have to do that. I don't know if I'm going to cover the glowstones up like I did uh, in uh, some places with the sea lanterns. have to see. I mean they do kind of keep with the, the whole uh, nether motif going on here. here. Carefully chop these. So I think I've got all of the redstone in place properly back here. So it should just be a matter of plugging the thing in. Okay, we need a few more glowstones here. And that's one thing I don't have a huge abundance of. Of course, I haven't been using them very much. Since we have the Guardian Farm, I've been uh, using the nice, cool light of the sea lanterns. Okay, so here's our staging area. What we want to do is I think we'll put uh, our workstation right here, our workbench. And we need, uh, let's see, a grindstone and an anvil, which we have plenty. Let's see. We want to 
that grindstone. <sighs> Let's throw a blast furnace and a regular furnace down there just in case. Uh, and now we got a compactor or a composter really close already. That should be fine. And then let's get say, three anvils. There we go. So we we'll put our grindstone here. Put our blast furnace here, our regular furnace here, and then we can put our anvils right there. Okay, so we've got everything we need for a little crafting. This uh, will finish up this after we get it connected. Oh yeah, so what do we do here? Okay, I'm thinking that if we had to put a door here, but I think we'll go with uh, this as our separating block. And let's see how a door looks there. Um, dark oak, maybe? Doors. And we have a dark oak door. I should have brought down another one, I think. Yeah, I'm not overly thrilled with that, because you can see through there, but... Let's see about this. We did like so. like with this instead. Okay. And then Yeah, he didn't. I said I couldn't go out any further. Okay. All I want is a way to have access to this back if I need to fix something or when I need to set up the the uh, system, sorting system. And uh, way. So then what do we do here? Do this and door here.
take the store and stiff it at the end. Yeah, that looks good. We can get this stuff from that end, but we still need to be able to access this. And I'm not sure if we are open at the far end there. Let me double check. No. Mm. So I really need to leave that open. I really need that door there. All right, well, it'll just have to look a little weird. I think these uh, hoppers are going to end up being exposed. Unless, yeah, there's not enough room to put a slab underneath. So, it is what it is. Of course, I could just block this up and then bust through it when I needed to. I'll think about that. In the meantime, we have our uh, new nether update annex to our storage system. And as soon as we update to 1.16, it'll be ready. Fantastic. So I'm back at my last big base, the end town base, just above our end fortress. Have you ever moved out of a house and then come back and looked around afterwards? That's what this feels like. This was my first big storage system that I ever built. I've pulled all that out. And now it's empty. Villagers are still here. They can stay here. And... Uh, Cats and the dogs can stay here, have plenty of those back at the new base. <clears throat> the golems here have been having a rough time. So a lot of cats around here. Um, the farms that automatically fed into the storage area now go down into chests instead. Yeah. The um, stable I was going to build right over here Never got completed, so I took the thrust the way down. I let the sheeps out of the automatic sheep farm. And some of them have wandered into the uh, fox pen. Most of them have come out of here. We had two uh, sheep silos, one over here and one over here. The mine down here now delivers to these chests, or they would if uh, these blocks weren't here. Yeah. And same with our vegetables. Still looks good. So, 
we'll still be able to come back to this base and we will to use it for the end fortress. And the rail line still runs through there. But now we've got other things to do. Now this is something I haven't seen before. The fox hunting salmon. Here we got one. How about that? Whoa. I'm just looking for a bed, but I don't seem to be able to find one here. Let's check over here. Donkey. No bad. There we go. Okay, the last thing I need to do, I've been putting off for quite a while, but I want to get it done before. 1.16 comes out, and that is to finish putting in the supports for the minecart track. It goes off into the distance. So we're going to do it like this. Every 40th block, thereabouts, which will put us right here. We do the bottom just the same way. So now once I get a rhythm going, I won't keep messing up like that. Okay. What we need though are some those slats to go under the to make that fit flush the way it is over there. Okay, so I'm going to get busy building the rest of these after I go back and pick up some additional slabs. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this little visit, getting ready for the Nether Update 1.16. If you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. Think about subscribing, and as always, keep on Minecrafting.